whether the alleged conduct of the respondents in pur purportedly becoming totally incommunicado attracts disqualification under paragraph 2 sub clause 1 sub clause a of the 10th schedule the first ground on which the petitioner sought disqualification of the respondents is that the respondents became incommunicado the submission cannot be accepted and the respondents cannot be held to be disqualified on this ground for the following reasons the ground is a mere allegation and apart from mere assertion that the respondents have gone incommunicado the petitioner has not put forth any evidence or material to substantiate it for instance the petitioner has not provided any material about who was sought to be contacted and by whom when such an attempt was made etc a mere unsubstantiated statement that the legislators have gone incommunicado cannot even be a ground to attract disqualification under paragraph 21a of the 10th schedule when rival factions emerge in a political party especially within the leadership it is possible for both, both the factions to allege that the other faction has gone incommunicado in such a circumstance especially in the light of the law laid down by the apex court in subhash desai supra it would not be correct to hold any faction to have incurred disqualification for going incommunicado without first determining which of the faction is the real political party <coughs> reflecting the will of the will of the political party also having held that the shinde faction was the real political party when the rival factions emerged the submission of the petitioner that the respondents have gone incommunicado ceases to hold any meaning for the purpose of disqualification on on the 20th of june 2022 elections for the legislative council were held in his cross examination shri suril prabhu pw1 stated that all the mlas were present for the same in the face of this evidence it would not be possible to accept that the legislators had gone incommunicado respondents have placed that they have been in touch with the ubt faction they substantiated it by stating that shri milind narvekar and shri ravindra fatak mlc on of the ubt faction had gone to surat and met shri eknath shinde and other respondents on 21st june 2022 on the instructions of shri uddhav thakre this fact was not denied by the petitioner shri sunil prabhu when a suggestion was put to him in the cross examination in fact the petitioner admitted that shri milind narvekar and shri ravindra fatak mlc of the ubt faction had gone to surat and met shri eknath shinde <coughs> and other respondents also three of <coughs> three of the witnesses for respondents have testified that shri milind narvekar and shri ravindra fatak mlc of the ubt faction had gone to surat and met shri eknath shinde and other respondents on 21st june 2022 on the instructions of shri uddhav thakre the testimony stood the test of cross examination and the petitioner could not establish otherwise thus on this count alone or this count also it would not be possible to accept the legislators were incommunicado to accept that the legislators were incommunicado whether the deliberate absence of the respondent in the sslp meetings purported to be held on 21st june 2022 attracts disqualification under paragraph 21a of the 10th schedule the second ground on which the disqualification is sought is that the respondent deliberately remained absent in the sslp meeting held on 21st june 2022 petitioners relied on the attendance sheet register of the meeting dated 21st june 2022 after having considered the submission advanced on this ground i hold that respondents cannot be held to be disqualified on the ground on this ground in view of my <coughs> conclusion that one the shinde faction was the real political party when factions emerged and two shri sunil prabhu ceased to reflect the will of the political party from the moment the faction emerged thus it would not be correct to say that shri sunil prabhu had any authority to call any meeting of the sslp hence on this <clears throat> ground alone
petitioner's case that the respondents were liable to be disqualified for non-attendance of the meeting dated 21st June 2022 is liable to be rejected. Irrespective of the conclusion that may be reached about which faction was the real political party, respondents could not be held to be disqualified on the ground that they deliberately remained absent in the SSLP meeting held on 21st June 2022. This is because of the following reasons. Petitioner relied upon the attendance sheet of the 21st of June 2022 to claim that all those MLAs who were <coughs> signed and <coughs> signed the said attendance sheet were present in the meeting, while those who did not sign were not present. Based on this document, UBD faction claimed that respondents remained deliberately absent. A comparison of the original attendance sheet produced along with the affidavit in lieu of chief examination of the petitioner Shri Sunil Prabhu, PW1, with the copy of the attendance sheet produced and verified as a true copy along with the, the petition reveals that the two do not match. There are glaring discrepancies. The copy claimed to be the original of the said attendance sheet has a handwritten date of 21st June 2022, whereas the copy verified as the true copy of the original produced along with the petition does not have it. Further, Sri Sunil Prabhu stated in his cross-examination that the document